Welcome back YouTubers and this is going to be a review of the Lucasfilm 50th Anniversary Star Wars Droids figures. Now these figures are the vintage 3 and 3 quarter inch uh, sized figures and they're pretty much the same as their counterparts. I mainly got these because as a kid I grew up watching the droids show. I can even tell you what some of the things in the background are. But we'll get to that in a minute. First, what comes extra? They include these little coins with it. This is the R2-D2 one. It's not got a lot of detail. And this is the C-3PO one. Again, there's not a lot of detail to these coins. So they're not really that important. But the figures themselves are pretty interesting. This is a bit where R2 was attempting to help them uh, cause a distraction. That's them on in the very first episode seeing the White Witch, a speeder, speed over their heads. Though it's miscolored in this picture. The backs show the other ones in the series, which include Boba Fett in his uh, color scheme from the series, as he was in the fifth episode of the first story arc. Same for this one. Though his first appearance in those colors was in the Star Wars Holiday Christmas Special, to many fans' chagrin. Anyway, the droids themselves are pretty simple. I have another R2 that's almost identical to this one, but it comes with this little um, fold-out tool, very similar to the one that Chopper always uses in Rebels, but also other ones. I'm a little sad they didn't give us like one of these panels popping open for a scomp link or something like it. His foot, if you push it up, causes the periscope attachment to pop out. Now his head dome won't swivel unless you move that. And it does have a pinhole in the top here. I presume it's because there are some other R2s, like the ones with those weird grabbers from older series that this is based on. I honestly don't think they've really updated this design in quite some time. It's got the standard R2 legs. You can put them, you know, straight line and with the foot mostly put up. Or you can fold them back so he rolls. But he's got rollers on his main feet, so either way he can be rolled across. Now 3PO has a few more bits to him and that's actually part of his problem. As you just saw, this little back plate pops off constantly. Gonna have to do something and make it stick better. But he has a lot of panels, like his leg panel, face plate, and chest that all pop off, showing his underside. Though this was not something that happened in the droid's cartoon. Overall, he's got decent flexibility for 3PO, but the panels just don't stay on. You might want to use a little clear nail polish coat to make them stick a little better. Overall, it's not a bad one, though mine doesn't have the eye on this side painted quite right, so I'll have to give it a touching up at some point. Overall, it's not a bad figure, and the lack of chrome on him means that he won't develop, you know, paint chips at a later date. Overall, I like these two figures, though I think the 3PO could have been manufactured a bit better. The R2 is perfectly fine. Overall, I do think if you're a collector or you're a fan of the droids show like I am, these are two figures you might want to swing by and grab while you still can. Especially if you can also get Boba Fett with them. But that's all for now. Please like, subscribe, comment below, share this video. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao.